in September, the Fed did cut the interest rate by 25 basis points as expected. However, the big news is tensions in the repo market that forced the Fed to intervene to the tune of 75 billion worth of repo lending. Uh, this could be that the Fed has to keep on pushing uh, interest rate lower through repo going forward. The ECB has announced a very s large set of measures, uh, some of which have uh, received very strong opposition from members of the governing council. However, uh, interest rates have come up a bit uh, in the short end, reflecting the new tiering uh, system, but the curve is, o is overall flatter. Um, and um, sovereign spread have come in um, slightly, uh, especially in Italy, where positioning is very long, and in Spain, thanks to the rating upgrade from S&P reflecting better financial conditions. In credit space, new supply coming in in September, as always, uh, as weighed on markets and spread a bit wider. Same is true in high yield, where we've seen also less inflow than before. There's good value in those areas of the market, but one should be mindful of the flow picture that's turned uh, less supportive of late. September was a great month in, in, in equities. Uh, however, the underlying e earnings growth picture is, is lackluster. We'll see when the earnings season starts in the middle of October how this pans out, but we expect earnings growth co to be softer, especially in the US, but also in Europe. So there's less underlying momentum in equity markets for that reason. Also, uh, we can see that the, the market performance is pulled by a tiny bit of stocks and uh, it's not as broad based as before. Small caps in Europe are, are not doing very well. Mid caps are, e are doing even worse in, in equity markets in Europe. So that's something to watch. Uh, the, the, the market dynamics looks a bit unhealthy uh, at present. There's very few uh, inflow into the asset class. It's still an unloved sort of uh, asset class at this present. However, the 3.5% dividend yield is one key uh, reason why to own stock going forward. I think the dividend growth theme should be uh, one uh, key determinant uh, for um, the construction of portfolios going forward. In weeks ahead, the risk will be the usual suspects, Brexit, the trade talks between the US and China, but we pay a lot more attention to how corporate earnings fare because uh, we still think that uh, there could be uh, the make or break thing uh, going uh, forward. So rendezvous next month to talk about corporate earnings.